We are now recording. Mayor, Vice Mayor, City Council. I have a few preliminary matters. This is Zoe Burgess, your city clerk. The meeting of the local planning agency is being held with a quorum of city council physically in attendance at the Westlake City Council Chambers, 4005 Seminole Pratt Whitney Road. Councilwoman Katrina Long Robinson, Councilwoman Kara Crump, Councilman Patrick Paul, Vice Mayor John Paul O'Connor, and Mayor Roger Manning are yeah. present physically in attendance. This okay. City Manager Kenneth Castle, Interim City Attorney Donald Duty, Planning and Zoning Director Nilsa Zacharias, and Engineering Director Suzanne Dombrowski are present and physically in attendance. City Clerk Zoe Burgess is present via Communications Media Technology at City Hall, 4001 Seminole Pratt Whitney Road. Public comments may be accepted prior to the meeting utilizing the electronic comment card available on the city's website. Public comments are also permitted at the appropriate time during the meeting. The mayor will call for such during public comment and you may participate at this time utilizing the system's virtual hand feature and waiting to be acknowledged if you wish to comment. Please note this meeting is being recorded both voice and video and to remember your mic may be live. I will mute any microphones that carry any feedback or interruptions. If you are a caller that has been muted, you may unmute yourself by pressing star six. Any person in the virtual meeting causing a disruption or being inappropriate will be removed from the virtual meeting. If I may also remind those physically in attendance, please utilize microphones so that the virtual audience and a clear recording of the meeting is produced. Thank you, Mayor Manning. Thank you. Thank you. I'll open the See you at Westlake Local Play Agency meeting Monday, June 14, 2021, at 6 02 p.m. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Katrina Long Robinson. Here. Councilwoman Kara Crump. Here. Councilman Patrick Paul. Here. Vice Mayor John Paul O'Connor. Present. Mayor Roger Manning. Present. We have a quorum. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any additions, deletions, or modifications to the agenda? Council. So none. So could we have a motion for approval, please? I make the motion to approve. Next agenda. I'll second. We have a motion to approve the agenda by Councilman o or Vice Mayor O'Connor, seconded by Councilwoman Long Robinson. Roll call. Councilwoman Long Robinson. Yes. Councilwoman Crump. Yes. Councilman Paul. Yes. Vice Mayor O'Connor. Yes. Mayor Manning. Yes. Motion carries five zero. Thank you. Um, we're going to open public comments or requests. Um, it's open for non for non agenda items. Uh, Zoe, do we have any anyone that's responded to this part of the agenda? Mayor, we received no previous public comments. However, we'll give the virtual audience a moment to raise their virtual hand. If you wish to make a comment, please raise your virtual hand, state your name and address. If you're unable to raise your virtual hand, please unmute your device. If you're on a telephone, please press star six. Please state your name and address. Mayor, I see no comments. Does anyone here uh, that's present have any comments? Show no one, so we'll move on. We'll move on to the consent agenda. We have one item tonight, it's September 14, 2020, local fan agency meeting minutes. Do we have um, any comments? If not, do we have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve yeah. tonight's consent agenda. Yeah. I'll second. I have a motion to approve the consent agenda by Councilwoman Crump, second by Vice Vice Mayor O'Connor. Roll call. 
Councilman Councilwoman Crump. Yes. Councilman Paul. Yes. Vice Mayor O'Connor. Yes. Mayor Manning. Yes. Councilwoman Long Robinson. Yes. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll open up the public hearing portion of our agenda. We'll start with Article 5, the subdivision and site development standards, land development regulations, first reading. And this is coming in a presentation from engineering. On this, that's correct. Yes. Uh, we want to read it by title and then we'll discuss yes. it. Zoe, would you read it by title? An ordinance of the City Council for the City of Westlake, Florida, establishing mandatory land development regulations within the City of Westlake, which shall be entitled Land Development Regulations, providing for purpose and intent, providing for subdivision and site development standards, providing for waivers and exemptions, providing for City Council approval, providing for site development permits, providing for required improvements, providing for driveway and access requirements, providing for minimum design standards for local roads, providing for time of completion of required improvements, providing for codification, providing for a conflicts clause, providing for severability, and providing an effective date. Thank you. I'll leave off, Mr. Mayor, and then I'll let Suzanne fill in on the details. Um, this is before you, as you know, we've been working on Chapter 5 for some time after we got the uh, issue straightened out with the stormwater between city and city. Uh, staff was able to continue with the process and bring it to fruition. Uh, there will be one uh, minor change in what's <clears throat> presented tonight between first and second reading. And if you notice in the documents, there were some drawings and stuff that are in, the, in this ordinance. Mm -hmm. um, Upon recommendation and discussions with the city engineer, we've decided that that would be better as a um, standards, that the drawings and stuff should be in a book of standards and referenced as a book of standards rather than being in the code itself. That way the standards are set. If we need to change the standards because the county or the state or some other standard change, we could change it easier than without having to go back and redo the code two or three times. So it's just an efficacy. Same thing as we've done in here where we've referenced the SID standards for stormwater compliance and stuff. We've referenced them by, by reference. So we're going to do the same thing with our drawings for local roads and, and parking. Okay. And, uh, Suzanne, do you have any more comments? Uh, no. Good evening, everyone. Suzanne Dombrowski, city engineer. Um, we did not prepare a presentation for tonight. We did provide a staff memorandum. Um, and just wanted to clarify that the changes that you see from the last time you saw this chapter five, a lot of it's related to the integration of uh, <coughs> and clarifying those roles and responsibilities um, compared to the city's roles. And uh, just making sure that we define all of the required improvements for infrastructure to meet the level of service that's established in the comprehensive plan. Um, so those are the main goals of this chapter. So uh, we have your the engineer's approval on this. Yes. Thank you. Do we have any uh, public comment on this item? Mayor, we'll give the virtual audience a moment to raise their virtual hand. If you wish to make a comment on subdivision and site development standards, land development regulations. Item A of the agenda. Mayor, I see no additional comments. Any council comments? Showing none. And do we have a motion? I'll make a motion we move forward with the adoption of ordinance uh, 2021 1. Second motion. Is first reading. Would this be a recommendation to move to council for first reading? Sorry, yes. I, 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 I thought about it afterwards. Yeah. Sorry. So you want me to do it as a recommendation? Okay, as a recommendation to move um, for first reading Article 5, Ordinance 2021 4. Sorry. I'll second the motion. Motion made by Councilwoman Long Robinson as a recommendation to Council for first reading Ordinance 2021 04, seconded by Councilwoman Crump. Roll call. Councilman Paul? Yes. Vice Mayor O'Connor? Yes. Mayor Manning? Yes. 
Councilwoman Long Robinson? Yes. Councilwoman Crump? Yes. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you. Kids, move on to item B, Chapter 3 Additional Medical Uses as Permitted in the Mixed Use Zoning District. Zoe, would you read this ordinance by title, please? 2021 03. Yes, Mayor. Ordinance 2021-03, an ordinance of the City Council for the City of Westlake, Florida, amending Chapter 3 entitled Zoning District and Standards to include provisions for additional medical uses as permitted uses within the mixed-use zoning district, providing for codification, providing for a conflicts clause, providing for severability, and providing an effective date. Thank you. Do we have a presentation for this item? Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council Members, Nilsa Zacarias, Director of Planning for the City of Westlake. Um, we do not have a presentation, but I would like to address the Council because, uh, as you see, this uh, ordinance includes the table, it's our use table. This is the ta one of the most important tables of the whole chapter. Every time that the phone rings, somebody might be calling to, to ask, can I put a medical office in this place or in that place? So all what we do is go to this part of the, cha the chapter, open this and look at it. If this is a permitted use in this zoning district, yes or not. There's not too many maybes. So to include the medical, the, all those medical uses on the mixed use district is very important because uh, we have had calls asking you know, they can put these uh, uses in the mixed use. And that was a negative call. No, I'm sorry, the call doesn't allow it. So now by uh, providing this, then now, yes, it is allowed in the mixed use district, which is actually our largest zoning district in the city. Thank you. Any other questions for Nelson? Thank you, Nelson. Uh, do we have any comments from the public on this ordinance? May I receive no previous comment cards? We'll give the virtual audience a moment to raise their virtual hand. For item B of the agenda, Chapter 3, Additional Medical Uses as Permitted in the Mixed Use Zoning District. If you wish to make a comment, please raise your virtual hand. Please state your name and address. Mayor, I see no, no virtual hands. Thank you. Do we have any comments from the council? Show no comments. We have a motion. I'll make a motion to move. Um, make a recommendation to council to move forward with ordinance 2021-03. I'll second. I have a motion by Councilwoman Crump rec for recommendation of ordinance 2021-03. Seconded by Councilwoman Long Robinson. Roll call. Yes. Vice Mayor O'Connor. Yes. Sorry. Mayor Manning. Yes. Councilwoman Long Robinson. Yes. Councilwoman Crump? Yes. Councilman Paul? Yes. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you. So let's move on to item C, amending ordinance 2019-12 and chapter one of the city's code of ordinances by clarifying the duties, responsibilities, and composition of the planning and zoning board. This is ordinance 2021-05. Zoe, if you wouldn't mind, Reading by title, please. Ordinance 2021-05, an ordinance of the City Council for the City of Westlake, Florida, amending ordinance number 2019-12, adopted October 28th, 2019, amending chapter one of the City Code of Ordinances by clarifying the duties, responsibilities, and composition of the Planning and Zoning Board, repealing ordinance number 2016 Dash three, repealing ordinance number 2020-09, adopted September 14, 2020, providing for codification, providing for conflicts, providing for severability, and providing an effective date. 
Mr. Attorney, do you have a few comment on this? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just very briefly, uh, when we were asked to review <coughs> the various ordinances you've enacted in the past, it wasn't clear as to exactly the role of the Planning and Zoning Board. It appeared to be advisory in nature, and accordingly, it was brought to our attention that there was one area of which the board was vested with authority, and that is to grant the variances. So this ordinance, if you will, clarifies the role of the board and identifies the fact that for the most part it's advisory in nature. However, for various applications, it does make a final decision subject to appeal to this council. And that's the intent of the ordinance. And it's really putting to rest the debate, the issue, the other ordinances that appear to be in conflict. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Do we have any public comment on this item? May I receive no previous comment cards? However, the audience wishes to make a comment on item C of the agenda, amending ordinance number 2019-12 in chapter one of the city code of ordinances by clarifying the duties, responsibilities, and composition, composition of the planning and zoning board. Please raise your virtual hand, state your name and address. <clears throat> Mayor, I see no comments. Thank you. Do we have any comments from the council on this item? Just so glad we're finally getting signed out and clarified, and we don't have to double the things anymore. So, <clears throat> no further comments. Um, then we have a motion. I'll make the motion to adopt uh, ordinance coming in one zero five. Move to. Council, recommend recommend Council I have a motion by Vice Mayor O'Connor to recommend Ordinance 2021-05, seconded by Councilwoman Long Robinson. Roll call. Mayor Manning. Yes. Councilwoman Long Robinson. Yes. Councilwoman Crump. Yes. Councilman Paul. Yes. Vice Mayor O'Connor. Yes. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody that's worked on uh, these items. And um, <clears throat> with that, we end our public hearing and um, we're going to adjourn this meeting until which, at 6 30 we will start our uh, regular city council meeting. Thank you. It's uh, 6 18. Mayor, adjourn meeting at 6 18. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying so far. No.